Well, this is a little bit different of a video here on my channel. Normally it's on smartphones and tablets and things of that nature, but today here we're actually in my bedroom and this is the Alienware PC that I made a video on, on a while back. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it if you want to know what kind of specs is in this machine. Anyway, um, it's just used by my girlfriend for very basic gaming. Here on the TV we have a classic Black Ops 2, okay, an older game. And let me show you guys what's going on. We currently have this Xbox controller Bluetoothed to the PC there. That way, you know, you don't have to be tethered by a wire. And if we... Uh, if we're up close here to the machine with the controller, I'm going to show you guys this. If we're up close, well, this kind of proves my point, but I'm going to hold the controller down low here. I'm going to pan you guys back up. The response is, is perfectly fine. Okay. But the second... Literally, watch this. I'm just going to raise this controller up just a little bit. Literally like three feet away. And you can even see on the TV there that the word is kind of glitchy. And it's just super delayed. It skips around. And that's just very annoying. And the solution in the meantime that I had was this cable here using this cable and just playing wired, right? Because there's no issue with that. But uh, this Alienware just has awful, an awful Bluetooth range. And that's what this video is about. I think this was somewhere around $12 or $15. This is a Ugreen USB Bluetooth 5.3 adapter with an antenna. I specifically wanted one with an antenna. That way the range is really good. You can find a lot of them online that are just basically that part right there without an antenna. But what we're going to do today is solve this janky Bluetooth issue by plugging this in. We're going to disable the onboard Bluetooth and I am pretty certain that that will solve this Bluetooth issue. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got the little USB Bluetooth adapter installed, and what I'm going to do now is right-click the start button. I'm going to go into Device Manager, and we're going to disable the onboard Bluetooth. So right here in this section under Bluetooth, if you click that little arrow, I'm going to right-click and disable the Intel Bluetooth. It's going to ask us if we're sure that we want to disable it. We're just going to click Yes. And I can see here, this one right here is the Bluetooth adapter that's installed. We have like an attention symbol right there. So what I'm going to do is right click and update driver. This should be a driverless kind of device. Okay, so I suggest either connecting this to your computer before you turn it on because I had to restart. And if you noticed here at generic Bluetooth adapter, there's no more like attention sign. And now... Um, in the settings app it's fully working and also just to ensure it's working the Intel Bluetooth is disabled that is what they suggest with their instructions also so make sure if you have internal Bluetooth that just has a weak antenna weak signal to disable the one built into your motherboard so now here we're using the Bluetooth adapter and I'm actually going to remove the controller to make sure it is paired to our USB adapter. And if we scroll down here in settings to other devices, you can see general adapter, that's our Bluetooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our controller here. I'm gonna put it in pairing mode. We're going to click on add a Bluetooth device, Bluetooth, right here. Here's our game controller. There we are, got the solid light, it's paired up. 
last time with the onboard Bluetooth, I can already tell that that reaction from the controller is much more instantaneous on our game here. That is perfect. And now, so up close it works very well, and now I can actually step way back here away from the computer, and it's perfect. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you can see that moving on the screen. Whereas before we had to be very close to the computer itself and it still had lag issues. Now I have zoomed in on my camera but I'm all the way back here on the couch. This is probably six to eight feet away. There we are. Much more instantaneous on the TV. That is a good affordable Bluetooth fix and you can use it on multiple computers. I'll leave a link down in the description. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.